Probably a couple thousand rafted up on that far bank over there. That's all bills, man. That's a lot of freaking bills. They're stretched out clear on that far bank, too. Oh, yeah. Covered up. Tyler screwed me up. I wanted to do an all blue, but I'm freaking spread tomorrow. I had to take a bunch of stuff out of my boat. We're making Fred paddle out in the morning. Uh oh, little man's here. We're good. Boat's loaded, we're ready to rock. What do you think? You ready to go? Yeah. What do we do to him? Yeah. Shoot him in the lips. That's right. <laughs> Shoot him in the lips. Huh? What happens when you're a bad shot? Huh? You shoot in the legs. <laughs> What's your favorite kind of duck to shoot? Mallards. That's right. We shoot the mallards, right? I thought you were raising the man. Daddy got a band today. Can I have it? Yeah, you can have it. It's in the back of the truck. Come on, let's go get it. You shot it for me? I shot it for you. You know, this isn't very far from a home. The bluebell situation is, uh, I, this is what I cut my teeth on, actually. Uh, when I was a kid, we had a two-man layout boat my dad and I built, and uh, so I grew up shooting these birds. Open water hunting is still close to my heart. It's just not something I do every day. So local guys that hunt these bluebills every day, like what we're getting ready to hunt. Nate and the boys, they know what's going on. So we're just relying on them to make the right decisions as far as putting us in the right place. So we're having a little issue with wind. It's only blowing 10 to 15 offshore, blowing zero onshore. So we got to find out exactly where the wind is so we can have a good chop so we can get the decoys moving for attraction, also help hide the boat. So we we'll have to move around. It's going to be a long morning figuring out where we're going to hunt, but we'll figure it out. It's glass. They're coming. They're rafted from about right here, out into here, and they're flying back into the halfback. Today it's not too bad, but there's a lot of days where, especially like here, here, I see it go from flat like this to rolling five, six footers in literally a half an hour. So, you gotta know what you're doing out here. It's pretty dangerous for sure. We're uh, coming out on uh, Lake Erie. Do a little uh, bluebill diver hunt this morning. See if we can't get some bluebills moving around. I'll have to lay out boats. We're gonna run a two-man with cameraman and uh, a one-man with uh, with a gunner in there. See if we can. Uh, get the three man limit each guy out here today. Right there. Where right we? there. Oh. Right about there.
This segment brought to you by Brownie, the best there is. This one to the right, or? That's a hen golden eye right there. Thanks, Tyler. That's cool, man. Bluebills off to the right. That's all I could shoot, man. They were way too far right. I was like, ain't happening. No happening. Left side, Tyler. Left side. <laughs> I thought I was right on him. I might have to give him a little bit more lead. Check that out. The demonstration of proper boat management and control right here on AVNX TV. <laughs> Uh-oh, we got some major trouble now. We got a group of bluebills feeding real close to the back of the seahorse right here. <laughs> This week's tip sponsored by Buck Knives. <laughs> Audio jungle. How was it? Well, I whiffed three times on the first lock. So Tyler gave me hell on that one. And then I made three more shots and three more burns. So. Front's a drake. This segment brought to you by Mossy Oak. It's not a passion, it's an obsession. And Zinc Calls, a champion in every call.